shooting a billion watt microwave into the ionosphere, which is the part of the atmosphere that has a lot of energy in it, that pushes the ionosphere up into outer space and then it rebounds. And the way it rebounds can cause earthquakes. Just like an opera singer can break a glass by singing at a certain level, or by dragging your fingernails on a blackboard, you feel a weird sensation. If they adjust the vibration for the rock underneath their target site, they can do that. The same machine can also heat up subterranean water to cause earthquakes. And remember, a billion watt microwave. What does microwave do to water? It heats it up. Now imagine if you put a billion watts into a tropical storm. You could make it much bigger and you could change the direction it flows in. You know how there's high pressure zones and low pressure zones. Well high is hot and low is cold. And the hot flows into the cold. And vice versa and there's more of the cold. So they can heat up an area and cause it to flow into a next door area. In other words, these people are capable of creating the cyclone that hit Myanmar, the tsunami that hit Indonesia, and the earthquake that hit China. Now after the earthquakes hit Niigata, a member of the Inagawa crime family, which is based in around the US Yokosuka Air Base, and members of the Inagawa family have told me that their big boss is George Bush Sr. In other words, they work for Skull and Bones. And they invited me to a so-called UFO gathering where they showed me the video of this blob. They told me it was a UFO, but it was obviously, to me anyway, a plasma uh, weapon or a ball of heat created by something like a billion watt microwave. And I predicted in my blog that there would be videos of lights found above China before the earthquake. And those videos then appeared on the internet after I predicted they would. And furthermore, a Taiwanese satellite detected a 50% drop in the ionosphere, in the amount of electric energy in the ionosphere above the earthquake zone. Now, a 50% drop would be exactly what would happen with HARP. It would push the ionosphere up and then it would slam back down. So, it looks like the insane criminals who have taken over the US government are killing people and threatening people with earthquake weapons. It doesn't look like it. I actually have some of the proof. Weather modification could also be used as an instrument of warfare by manipulating the electrojet and the jet streams that dictate climate